160. He's gone. What's up, guys? Uh, today we're in the garage and on another episode of Maxworks Electronics. And today we're going to be screwing around with this. This is a busted Ryobi uh, battery that died on me. I had this battery for probably about two and a half years. Uh, it served me well, and then one day I plugged it into my impact and nothing. Threw it in the battery charger, nothing. Took a reading on it, these batteries are supposed to be 18 volts. Uh, I was getting about eight volts. And so I've been putting this off for a while, but today we're gonna take this thing apart and find out what went wrong. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the fluke to DC volts and see what this thing is reading now. It is completely flat. And so if I bring this over here real quick, this is a standard uh, Ryobi charger. If you plug this in here, you see it is flashing. And flashing here indicates defective. So, not getting any charge out of this thing. And the charger says it's defective, which to me is good enough reason to take it apart. Now, a few notes. Lithium ion batteries are dangerous. Uh, they can explode. They can shock you if they have more than 0.79 volts. Um, but I think this one is uh, good and chooched. So, let's take it apart. You need a special T10 uh, bit with a hole drilled in the middle of it. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus on that, um, but the GoPro will. And it's a, what's called a security bit or a safety bit. And there's a number of screws on this thing and we're just gonna take it all apart. So there we go. Basically the plastic shell just comes off with five screws. One of them was hidden. Um, but here's kind of uh, what you end up with. This is, you know, pack of lithium ion cells. And so a couple of things that are interesting. The first is there's this contact right here, which I assume has to be the uh, the monitoring contact that, that lets it know if the if the battery is out of, out of shape or whatever, um, because there's a little groove on those chargers. And there's a little couple pieces of silicon down here. Um, and I assume that those are controllers of some sort. Whole bunch of little resistors and stuff on here. And then at the back here, we have these, which are uh, for charging and discharging. These are fairly large MOSFETs, but you can see that somebody is, uh, they're clipped at the gate, so they're um, they're just feeding current and they're attached to this huge heat sink. And just looking at it, we can see that there is what looks like maybe a burnt resistor right there. Can't be uh, certain on that, but what we can do is none of the cells look damaged and none of the uh, none of the contacts on any of the cells look damaged. So what we can do is we can kind of go through and and measure them individually and see if there's any that are kind of out of whack. 1.4 volts. Since we're not going to try to salvage this battery, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart so that uh, we can get these side pieces off. So it looks like these are um, basically tack welded in, uh, punched in, whatever. They're uh, may not be removable. Ah, and you can see right there, there's a little thermocouple that was glued in right here on this battery. Keep track of battery temperature. So there's a whole control unit, a uh, little Zener diode back here. What does it say? There's no date code stamped. Illuminati symbol, TTI. Uh, we know Ryobi is owned by them and make all of this shit. Um, like I said, we have this uh, unit right here that sends information back to the battery pack. Uh, we have a little thermocouple. We got a chip in here, and I can't, it's all burnt up and smudged up, so I can't really read what it says. There's a couple of chips in here. They probably monitor uh, system health. And then there's these two guys for putting current in and taking current out, and they're on this big old heat sink. Now, what's left here is this this combination of uh, cells and holders. And what they did is they like tack welded this on 
maybe tackled is not the right word. It's like burnt on there. And the reason they do that is so that people don't do things like this. There we go. Again, the idea here is to see if maybe we can re reuse a few of these cells on a later project. I wasn't interested in bringing this battery back from the grave, so I can basically destroy it if I want to. So let's see what kind of voltage these things uh, put out on their own. This one's showing half a volt, 1.1 volts, 1.3 volts, 1.3 volts, 1.1 volts, 0.3 volts, 1 1.1, 1.1, 0.5, 4.5. So it looks like maybe we got four cells here that uh, kind of bit the bullet. These guys are, are basically done because these cells are supposed to be about 1.6, 1.7 volts each. Uh, let's see how many of them are there. 4, 8, 10. 10 volts, 18 volts. So they should be about 1.8 each. So these are probably salvageable. These are good. And these are junk. Um, there we go. So now we know what's inside of a battery. We know what failed on mine. We got some dead cells here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out uh, MaxWorks on Instagram. Check out MaxWorks on Facebook at Facebook backslash MaxWorks. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Uh, comment down in the comments. Let me know what you think.